together before we hit prepared us in, in another way, and that is that we kind of formed bonds with each other. I mean, traveling back and forth in a school bus with nothing but bare essentials, and you know, will we'll teach you adversity. That hardship was about to end. After two years of non-stop touring and disappointing album sales, Kansas finally found the chords to make their name known. In 1977, the single Carry On hit number 11 on the Billboard Hot 100 charts, and album sales suddenly soared past the 3 million mark. Nothing would top what happened next, 1977's Point of No Return. The record guaranteed Kansas' place in rock and roll history. A three-minute ballad became one of the band's and the decade's most enduring songs. had settled, it was clear that the band would never be the same. All we are is just in the Over the next three years, four of the group's founding members left the band. With the release of their 1988 album, In the Spirit of Things, it was clear that the 80s would not be their decade. Uh, just lack of sales and uh, lack of any record company support. Uh, we wound up in, a, in limbo for about a year and a half. It was management and uh, booking agencies and kind of gave us the hint of <laughs> maybe want to find another job.